Well, today I'm going to be explaining every mob in Crimson Cauldron. First one we're going to be covering is the regular old goblin. The goblin has really low health and they're really slow, so they're insanely easy to avoid and really easy to kill. The next one is the shield goblin. The shield goblins are very similar to the regular goblins, except they have a shield which can block bow attacks, so they can be kind of annoying if you're using a bow. And for sure, if you have a bow and there's too many of them, you are going to die if they get you in a corner. The next one is the cannon goblins. The cannon goblins usually just sit on a high tower and fire their cannons on you. They're not that difficult to avoid, but if you're being attacked by the regular goblins and you do not see them, they can get you by surprise. They also can be quite annoying sometimes. The next one is the elite goblin. The elite goblins are almost exactly like the regular goblins, but they have a lot more health. They also do not fall over when you shoot them with bows, which means if you are four or five of them chasing after you in your corner and you have a bow, you're probably screwed. They're practically useless if you have a sword. Next mob is the imp. The imp is a flying goblin that shoots fireballs down below. The imps aren't usually too effective and they honestly, if you have a bow, or even a sword, you're not gonna die to them. The imp has a close sibling called the elite imp. The elite imp are pretty much the same, but instead of only shooting one fireball, they shoot five at once. That means if two or three spawn at once, you're gonna have to be dodging those fireballs like the matrix. They also can take a lot more bow hits. The next mob is the witch. The witches cannot take damage from swords or bows. They're also really easy to avoid because they shoot so slow. Is when they power up their wand, they shoot their fireball and you take out your sword and deflect it right back at them. And it can miss as well, so it can get quite annoying sometimes. We're moving on to the Barrel Knight. Barrel Knights have a target on their back, which is the only place they can take damage. They carry around an axe, charging at you. Thing is, they're not too difficult to beat. I do this method called circling, where I just jump around them, keep shooting them with a bow, and I can get them out. Also, they can be quite confusing if three or four of them spawn at once. The next one is the Elite Barrel Knight. The Elite Barrel Knights, instead of charging at you, they spin around, which actually can get quite annoying, especially if three or four spawn at once. But again, you can usually just do that same circle method where you just circle around them and shoot them in the back. And again, they can also take a lot more hits. The next one we're going to be covering is the Bog Monster. The Bog Monster is considered a boss. It comes up above the water and you have to shoot it with your bows to take it out. It's a ton of health and uses its tentacles to shoot fireballs at you. But it isn't too difficult to beat if you know what you're doing. Especially if you know how to double shoot. And if you have a full lobby of people who know what you're doing, you gotta feel bad for it. I mean, you're technically just invading its home and shooting it. The next one is the final boss. The final boss is a massive witch. The only way to deal damage to it is deflecting its fireballs back at it. You're also going to have a lot of regular mobs trying to attack you at the same time while you do that. It can also take three hits from its own fireballs. So it is just a boss fight that can get kind of intense sometimes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.